devastating. It was very devastating. Everything was flooded out, couldn't get in the house, clothing, furniture, and everything was totally lost. It's been heavy on my heart, all the rain and everything, and we never thought that this devastation would come. It's really heartbreaking. They don't even know if they're still gonna be able to live in their house afterwards. Hurricane Matthew did a lot of wind damage in some areas, but here in Pine Tops, more of the, the water damage happened here. The rivers here, the Tarboro River and other, the tributaries of that river rose and it uh, flooded the houses. My, my heart goes out to all the people, all the friends and family that lost uh, everything. We've been so blessed by Pines Chapel Missionary Baptist Church. They have opened their doors to us. They are allowing us to use their facilities as our, as our base of operations. We couldn't do what we do were it not for these host churches. And then in turn, we can be a blessing to these people who have been affected by Hurricane Matthew. I go to church at Pines Chapel Missionary Baptist Church, and we're like a big family. We like do everything together. And I heard from someone that you can actually volunteer. I'm a Christian base that helps people, and that's, I'm all for it. We're pulling out the sheetrock. I've actually been helping pull the insulation out from under the house. This particular neighborhood, the water came up into the house probably about three feet. My brother lives here. James Horn lives here. He's been here probably 40 plus years. I left everything. I didn't take nothing with me but my medicine. I thought it would just be overnight. They're doing a great job. They're taking everything out, cutting it out, cleaning it out. I really thank them. My name is Felton Dickens, Jr. I grew up here. This is the first time I volunteered, so I had no clue that I will be working on one of my mentor's house next door where I was raised. And it's a blessing to my soul to be able to come and help James Horn get his house back together so he can move back in. All these years, he's been a blessing and inspired me that I can come back and give this little bit of effort to help him get back in his house. It's a true blessing. Across the street is another great story, a lady by the name of Susan. She's one of our volunteers today. She showed up to work on somebody else's house, even though her house is completely, completely flooded. This is my friend Suze. This is her home. We always known each other. <laughs> always. <laughs> when I received a call and said I was in the flood again. But in the meantime, I also feel like I need to help others. Flooded out, everything ripped up, tore up, turned over. We think it's a sad situation, but for some people, it's gonna be better. Their home gonna be better than what they had before. You know, when things happen, people get sad, but we don't know why God does the things that he do. Until the end, you'll realize, sometimes to uplift somebody. It's just a tragedy, but God, um... God, God don't make no mistakes. Um, you know, I know it's hard to say in, in times like this, but um, God, God, God is still good. He's still good.